Hey there. So today I got a question from a friend of mine who I've been helping in the cryptocurrency industry. And um, I've had this question before in the past, and I figured that there's probably others out there who uh, are also having the same question. So I thought I would just answer it real quick, short and sweet style. But when you're looking to purchase a cryptocurrency online at an exchange, where do you go? What exchange is it on? Where do you find it? Where is this information? And that's what we're going to answer today. So you are going to love this and how simple it is and how much easier it's going to make your life and when purchasing a cryptocurrency that you want to buy. So let's just say you have heard about a coin that you really want to buy but it's not listed on the exchange that you have maybe funded your account with and you don't know where it's listed and you want to find out. So what you would do is you would come to coingecko.com as you see here and I will put the link in the description below too so you can just quickly click on it and go there, directly there. And let's say we want to, I don't know, maybe you heard about the coin Tron and you want to buy some Tron. So you can either scroll down this list and find it on coingecko.com. Now here it is here, and you can click on it here. But let's say it's a coin that is not in the top 100, and it might be on a page five, and you don't want to scroll through five pages. You would simply type in the ticker symbol up here, and you'll find it listed here. So we can click on Tron and go here, and this will take us to see some market charts as well. You'll be able to see how it's been doing in the past 24 hours, seven days, 14 days. Looks like it's been doing well. And so where do we go to find out what exchange is it that's on? So we click on market tab here, and we can scroll down and we see an entire list here of the markets that it is available on and what trading pairs it's available on as well within that exchange. So it's on Binance and what I also like to look for is the, the volume. You want to make sure when you go and transfer any cryptocurrency to an exchange that you're transferring and purchasing it on an exchange that has some volume where it's not just going to, your order isn't just going to sit and wait because there's no volume. So you want some high volume. So it's good to look at this column as well. So you can see the different prices. Most of them are going to be very well within the same range and you can decide which exchange you want to go to and, and which trading pair you want to use as well. So there you have it. Go to coingecko.com and save it in your favorites and I'm going to be sharing more great tips like this whenever I come across them or if you do have any questions on anything that you want answers to, uh, put them in the comments below and I can do a quick video like this in the future and we'll get those questions answered for you. So please be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.